Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your man, Bobby Washington. I'm about to do a update or an upgrade um, to my MacBook 2011 Pro, my MacBook Pro 2012, and I'm using um, two SSDs from Samsung. Um, these are the 870 Evos internals, and I'm actually going to put High Sierra on this one. Um, we just put 16 gigs of RAM in here. 16 gigs of RAM in there. I'm gonna put Catalina on this one. So the first step into doing this, you have to have the right um, uh, products. You need to have, the, of course, the internal drive, which is the, these boxes right here. These are the boxes right here. Okay, take this sticker off of me, baby. All right, cool. Yeah, this is uh, the A70 Evo. I got two of them here. All right, also I have this. This is a SATA um, reader. It's gonna actually connect to the, the SSD and go into the um, USB of the drive that I wanna download the OS systems from. Um, this is the page you're gonna get them from. When you click on the link, it'll send you to the, directly to the link where you can download it from the store. Um, sometimes when you search in the store, you can't find them for some reason, but th this link will send you directly there. I will have this website link um, underneath this video description, so it'll be easy for you to click on and get here. Um, um, you can see the compatibilities up here as, um, you know, as to what your computer can take. I, I, I searched mine. Mine uh, is a 2011 early, so I couldn't do Mojave because the specs said I couldn't, and Catalina said I couldn't as well. The highs I can go is uh, High Sierra, so that's where I'm going. I'm coming from Sierra and going up to High Sierra. Um, she's coming from Sierra and going up to High uh, Catalina, okay? So you're going to have this page to follow. So right now... I'm at the point where I just uh, formatted this drive. Once you stick this into the system, it's going to automatically um, come to the place where you can actually press erase. And you want to erase and you want to um, do extended journal. I'm going to show you um, on the next computer how to do that because um, I've already done it on this part. So you, you're not going to see it now, but you're going to see it in a second. And I'm actually to the point where I'm about to install um, High Sierra onto this computer. So we'll come back to the video um, where I'm on this computer. Well, actually, when I'm in the back of this computer, actually installing um, the hard drive. Um, and then we'll come over here and show you the, the software installation part after this part here. So it'll, it'll make sense once you see it. Okay? All right. You want me to press it? All right. Um, yeah. Um, press uh, Catalina. Now we're going to go press Catalina. Okay. And we have it. We have the drive uh, plugged into her computer this time because this has a Catalina. It's going to put a Catalina software on this. Now it says uh, open. Go ahead and press open right there. Okay. Now you want to press this right here. Go into your privacy settings to make sure we can open it here. In case it asks us twice. All right, it didn't, so we should be fine. All right, so it opened. Now you're gonna press continue. You're gonna press agree. Agree. Now we're gonna press show all disks because we wanna put it on this hard drive called Catalina because it's gonna be in the back of this machine. It's gonna be the back and it's gonna boot up. So once you press here, we're gonna save it onto there. We're gonna install Catalina onto this new SSD drive. It's gonna be really fast when it boots up. And once it boots up, it's gonna be like a brand new Mac asking you the same questions that brand new Macs ask you to get it started. Um, I don't wanna show the password here. Okay, perfect. All right, so yeah. So now it's gonna actually install onto this and then we'll go ahead and um, put it inside the back of the, uh, the computer. And we'll actually boot both of them up at the same time and have them both being installed. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the installation of the, of the software onto the second drive for Catalina. So my wife here is gonna connect the uh, adapter to her hard drive and it should read on my computer still. Yep, um, we're gonna press initialize. And this is what I was telling you before that will make sense. You want to click on the hard drive here. You want to press erase. 
Um, I like to give it a name. I call it, call this Catalina. All right, Catalina, and keep this Mac OS Journal Extended Journal, and keep that uh, GUID the same. Press erase. Once it finishes, it should give us a, um, a, a time machine, a time machine prompt, and that means it's done correctly. Give it a second. Perfect. We've got a time machine. We're gonna press Don't Use. That's perfect. Press done. Okay. So now this is done. Catalina's there. We keep it in there. Now we we'll go back to the site I told you about. We're gonna give her Catalina. So we'll click on Catalina download. Download Catalina. It's gonna launch us over to the store. I'm gonna press download here. I'm gonna press OK. Okay, I have to do it from her computer. Let's do it from her computer. My computer is too uh too old. Okay, so this is the screen. All right, it booted from in. Now we're gonna just set up the windows as normal. Okay, I'm gonna set it up as normal. Once I finish setting it up, we're gonna put this in the back of this and just turn it on, it's gonna boot right up. Right, so the first thing you wanna do is take the cover off and then you wanna take off these two screws and remove this bracket like I did over here. Put the bracket over here. It's the bracket. All you need is a small Phillips head screwdriver, just like this, very small, just like that. Okay. And then you're gonna lift out the old hard drive. It's gonna be in there like this. Just gonna lift it out like that. Lift it out, and then you wanna pull. You're gonna lift it out gently so you can pull this off. This is attached. The SATA cable. I'm gonna let my wife. Pulled hers out, and you can see how she take it, take it out of there. So, pull that off. Mm -hmm. Pull it very lightly because this is still connected right there. If you pull it out a little bit, then you're gonna take that off. You just pull it off. Just kind of be gently. See how it is right here? It's kind of, yeah, it's just connected to it. You wanna hold the camera, and I'll do it. Like that. It's like that. Well, yeah, put that's because it's... Put it to the side. You're going to replace it with this one. You see how it matches up? See this to the ports? Mm -hmm. Just match it up on there. And put that in, just like that. And once you put that in, just put it in where the old one was. And put those brackets back on top. Just like that. And put the bracket back. Just like that, screw it down. So you're gonna need one of these type of screwdrivers, it's like a torque to remove those uh, four bolts on the um, on this one. The other screwdriver is just a regular Phillips head, but you need one of these. I'll put a link in my description below where you can get a torque. Right, so there are four bolts on this old hard drive on each corner. You have a bolt here, 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 and here. You wanna take those off and put it on the new on all four corners mm -hmm. so it can sit in there and you put the bracket on top to hold it down. Okay, so take those off and put it on there. We're booting the computer up. We got it in the back. Mm -hmm. This is the Catalina. Apple came right up. Apple came right up. It's actually moving faster than normal. Oh yeah, it's going in. That's it. <laughs> you just gotta change my picture. See how that feels. Put your password in. See how that feels. So that's it, guys. It works. It works. So you got Catalina, right? Let's go up and check. Let's check the Apple once it go inside. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's Catalina. Yeah, the top. This mountain and that Uh-huh. Go to the Apple. See if the 16 gigabytes still showing all of that. Yep, Catalina. Yeah. 16 gigabytes. Hey, success. We did it. Yay. These three hats have three different meanings. I'm going to break them down hat by hat. 
This hat represents me, the family man, husband and father. This hat represents me, the musician, producer, singer, songwriter, street promoter. This hat represents me as a filmmaker, feature films and vlogging. These hats also represent where I'm from, Miami. The cliche, you're a jack of all trades, but somehow I managed to master all three. I'm Bobby Washington and these are my vlogs.